Hello friends, uh, myself Dr. Vijay, plastic and cosmetic surgeon. Today uh, we are doing double incision mastectomy for this trans male. Uh, it's a tw uh, 30 year old trans male, he has come for the top surgery. It's a uh, part of the gender reassignment surgery. Gender reassignment, reass reassignment surgery usually involves series of surgeries from head to toe. So one among them is top surgery. So in top surgery, this particular patient we are doing mastectomy. So she wants to convert into male patient so we are doing a double incision mastectomy usually top surgery we do in two ways those patients who have less volume of breast tissue we usually do it by keyhole surgeries so we will make a small incision around the nipple areola and the chest and we suck out the fat and excess the gland and if our breast volume is more then we will do double incision mastectomy in this particular uh, surgery we usually do the marking first it's a very important part of the surgery so in that we will mark the incision line incision line and uh, all the important landmarks so now i'm marking the uh, position over the new uh, nipple position new nipple position in this surgery we usually harvest the nipple as a free graft so after harvesting we'll uh, uh, trim the nipple as a full thickness graft and we will uh, uh, place it in the new nipple position so usually incision will be along the infer uh, inferior mammary fold in so that will not be visible so and uh, upper incision will depends on the volume of uh, breast tissue so that we will decide on, on table sometimes incision can be extended to the lateral chest those who have a lateral rolls and uh, well, uh, axillary breast and all so to remove full amount of breast tissue we will extend the incision into the lateral chest so top incision we usually decide on table sometimes uh, so we will just mark for the landmark and uh, so we do the same marking on the other, other side so and we also uh, make the patient uh, show the patient that uh, nipple, new nipple position and we show them to the future nipple position also so usually this is about uh, one to one and a half hour uh, surgery so in this particular patient we are also combining with the total laparoscopic hysterectomy and ovarianectomy so we are doing both the surgeries in a single setting so after surgery there will be a long suture line so we close the incision using fine sutures so so that uh, scar uh, resultant scar will be very less so after that we will remove the suture after uh, 15 days and we will advise some pressure garment for better scar improvement so we usually discharge the patient next day after removing the drain and advice to remove the suture after 12 days and uh, along with few frequent dressing so we'll just do the procedure now we'll take him inside the ot and general anesthesia we'll do the procedure